This is the main character for my game. His name's Ember, and along with some enemies. As you can see, I'm very bad at drawing, but I know I could use Mid Journey to create game assets for me. In a matter of hours, I was able to change my UI from looking like this to that. I want to show you guys how I did that. If you guys have never heard of Mid Journey before, Mid Journey is an artificial intelligence program that allows you to enter in a prompt and it'll give you back four images, images or so that kind of represent that prompt that you typed in. So looking at this public gallery here, we can kind of see a bunch of different options. And if you just kind of hover over one of them, you'll be able to see what they represent, like what they typed in to get that prompt. So the prompt that I ended up going with was a 2D minimalistic penguin with clothing on. Um, very interesting, but I wanted to have like a 2D penguin uh, vector illustration and that kind of thing. I got some pretty cool photos, but after some time, I really got this interesting one. It's a penguin with like a pilgrim hat, like with a belt on it, and he has like these really cool clothing with a nice cane. I really just enjoyed the look of it a lot, so I ended up going with that one. Went to Photoshop a little bit, cleared up the edges, added a shadow underneath him, and that's the penguin. That's the main character, Mr. Penguin Boy. The next thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to get into Photoshop and start really working on a design for it. So I used Mid Journey again to create the UI elements, kind of like the attack icons, the health icons, the potion, the skull, the crafting, uh, really all the icons. I want to have pets in this game, I want to have different mastery books, I want to have different waves of monsters. I also want to have like alchemy of some sort, so I want to try to get icons for that also. Um, a lot of these icons were pretty much built in. I also have a new gold icon, a new diamond icon, just a shit ton of icons pretty much that I got added in from Mid Journey. So the next biggest thing was trying to figure out how I want these enemies to look. I had a bunch of different iterations of kind of like the variants for these different types of enemies. I didn't know if I wanted low contrast, high contrast, the size of the enemies. You know, in a game like this, you don't, you really need to consider the size because every 10 waves or so or every 10 levels, there's going to be a big boss. So, okay, if that's going to be the case, we probably should have 10 really small enemies for like the first nine waves. 10th wave is going to be the boss, so then we have a really big enemy. So at this point, I just kind of mainly focused on just getting the really small enemies figured out first, and then the big boss handled later on. Um, but yeah, so I ended up taking everything into Photoshop, kind of doing the same thing as the penguin, fine-tuning the edges, creating some shadows underneath, creating some shadows on the side, I had some stroke, um, and then pretty much exporting everything into Photoshop. In total, I think I have about four or five enemies that I'm for sure going to work with at this period in time. Uh, UI, you'll see about two iterations. You see one high contrast, one low contrast. Not very entirely sure which I want, which one I want to go with just yet. But yeah, there was a lot of cool things I created with Mid Journey. I created a bunch of icons. I created my main character, which I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, some pretty cool enemies, some coins, some diamonds. Um, icons are obviously a massive part of the game, and a game like this, there's going to be a ton of them. But yeah, I'm excited to use Mid Journey in the future because I have a bunch of different plants. I have pets that I want to create. I want a different alchemy bottles I want to create. I have like crafting stations. I mean, there are so many new things I need to create and this is only the beginning. But yeah, if you guys are curious, please subscribe because I do dev logs so you can see how this game is going. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Stay safe and uh, have a good one. See you guys.